Hello everyone, this is Carbon C. Capshaw again with Brandon Kachar, and we're <laughs> doing another Let's Talk video. Um, first, I would like to do a shout out video and a thank you video, and then I'm going to say a few things that, um, honestly, you know, like I said, make me, or did I say make us happy? I can't remember if I said that, yeah. <laughs> it's really late, I'm tired. But it's going to be a video about, um, you know, uh, what makes me happy and what makes them happy and um, that's basically it and then we're gonna tell you guys to keep living life and loving yourself and whatever blah blah, blah. but anyway so I want to say a shout out thank you to my buddy Josh his wife Hester my great amazing girlfriend Maggie thank you to Nate thank you to Reagan Phil Debbie Patricia Ashley Alex my mother there's like 16 people there, or like more. Like, there's a lot of people. Um, I'm trying to remember all of you. There, yeah, I'd, I'd have to look at the picture again, our group pictures, and uh, give a shout out and thanks to all of you. But I do appreciate all of you coming. Thank you very much. Also, thank you very much, Bradley Scott from Fight Perfect, for um, commenting on our video. It really does mean a lot. Uh, he, he and I, we will be doing future uh, videos together about martial arts. Uh, you know, so great shout out to you. Also, anyone who wants to see two real funny guys, um, you know, talk about martial arts, uh, but besides us, uh, go check out Fight Perfect. They've got great insights. You know, they're a huge influence in the MMA world or the YouTube world. And um, they're just really nice, general, down to earth, funny, silly guys. And, you know, I do take a lot of their insights uh, sometimes from the videos, and I do respect the hell out of them. Like I said to uh, Brad in, in that um, comment. So, that was my shout out and my thank you. So, a few things that make me happy. Like, I know I did like a solo video talking about what makes me happy. Like, years, not years, like months ago maybe, but no, probably a year ago maybe. And no, that was about setting up my equipment and everything. Well, I guess you could say things that make me happy are friendships. Like, you know, we're lifelong friends. Uh, my girlfriend's friendship. Um, my lifelong friends from high school. My mother. Um, you know, those make me extremely happy. I love doing boxing, martial arts, uh, working out, uh, taking my girlfriend out on date nights, things like that. Um, but the one thing that I really, <clears throat> well, a lot of people do know, but I don't really talk about a lot, is singing. I love singing. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I've been working with the singing acting coach for a couple of months now, and I can actually kind of sing now. I don't actually yell my notes. It's kind of nice. I'm going to maybe upload uh, videos again of me singing later once I feel more confident in my voice and it's more up to par, you know, I mean, I've, I've, gone, I've gone very far, but, you know, still have a long way to go. Uh, that's a side of me that a lot of people do know but don't really know. They know I can dance or whatever, but, like, when I sing, it's just an, it's an escape for me. I, I absolutely love it. Just like when I'm unboxing and I'm in that focus mode, it's, a, it's an escape, it's a release, it's a rush. Um, I feel like I'm showing a part of me that to me is special because like I said people don't really see it or know it. I mean people who have seen it are like oh yeah man you're, you're good or blah blah and you know I try to take credit for it but it's hard for me to take credit you know because I don't think I'm that good honestly but also just because it's all the things of where it's something where you think you're good at it and then you want to do it and then you do it and people say you're good and then the feedback you uh, you love it but as other singers it can all and i'm not saying it makes you nervous it, it does it makes you it, it i think it humbles you obviously because you know or whatever but it, it's more of a, like it's not that you don't want to take the compliment but i think <clears throat> as singers musicians whatever we're always so judgmental on ourselves it's not that we don't take the compliments well it's just that we don't know how to take it sometimes i'm guessing at least that's my personal reflection you know as a singer and like it's hard for me to take those compliments because i'm so judgmental and harsh on myself all the time and i've always been like that about my singing and dancing and everything i do i'm even harsh on myself in this video here you know um Sorry if I kind of rambled, that didn't really make a whole lot of sense of the point I was trying to get to, but finally glad I got there. I had to think for a second. Um, happens to the best of us. No, but I love singing. Um, as you all know, like I said, I love martial arts, MMA, Wing Chun, boxing, all that. Um, like I said, a lot of people don't know that side of me as a, as a singer. So at some point, I am going to eventually upload videos again and me singing and I've got like ones from like way back then but they're horrible I know they sound horrible um 
I'm trying to think of other things that make me happy, but as of right now, I'm gonna let Brandon take over. Uh, so like, what makes you happy? Like, what's an escape and a release for you that makes you just feel good? And I don't know, gets your adrenaline going, um, helps you with stress, anger, whatever helps, I don't know. Mm. One of two options, one, flying. Yeah. I love flying. I do my lessons here now and then about two times a month. And then, on the outside of that, I'll say, riding my bike. Riding your bike? Yeah. Riding my bike, especially with the wind and all that hitting you, you know, it oh, just God, yeah. releases all the stress, it releases all the emotions and all the downfall that's trying me through inside me that is making me uh, have a stressful life and, you know, just dealing with all the pain and all the you know, stuff I'm going through, but when I'm riding and I'm, you know, and I'm uh, yeah. pushing down on the accelerator, man, I'm <laughs> stressed free. I mean, I, I feel so great. I feel awesome. It's just like the best feeling. You know, yeah, I mean, you bikers, you would know. You would know where I'm coming from what I'm talking about. I mean, you, 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 I know all you people have seen the videos on YouTube about the bikers and you know, crazy drivers and stuff, but, yeah. you know, it's completely different what you guys see in the real world and compared to TV. Uh, trust me, especially for you bikers, trust me, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, honestly, biking is more of a privilege than a ride or anything, you know, it's just, you gotta earn it, you gotta mm -hmm. have fun doing it, you know, you, you take advantage of it. Yeah, like, I've been around plenty of riders who were really respectable and they were actually very good at writing and they weren't you know bad bad at it but you know like just like you know you know uh, purposeful ones who like try to weave in and out and like you know do all this and that or well, there's drivers who purposely drive bad or you know just to get other people go going and it's not fair or, very, or cool uh, we got about 30 seconds left after this we'll do one more short video then we'll wrap it up but um, yeah. So, anything else make you happy, or like, what about, what about something like on a daily basis that makes you happy? I guess. Honestly, on a daily basis, working. Yeah. I work with cars, around cars. I mean, it's. I just, I mean, it's, it just makes me happy. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, we'll be uh, right back with another video. One second.